Welcome back. In this session, we are going to look at fixing this failure and rerunning the pipeline. So you got a couple of options to rerun the pipeline and I'll show you all of that. But before that, we need to fix our config file that we broke so that the failure is going to succeed. So let's get to the storage explorer and this is the config that we broke. So let's open that up and make the changes we need to make it right. So we need to change the ecdc underscore dat to ecdc underscore data for all the URLs. And now we need to save it and upload it to the storage account. So let's do that. Click upload and the files being now transferred across to our storage account. So let's switch back to our data factory. As you can see here, you got a couple of options. You can either rerun the pipeline from the beginning or you can rerun from a failed activity. So in our case, we've only got lookup activity that took about 3 seconds to complete. But if you had a few activities up front which took hours to process, you don't want to be going all the way back and rerunning all of that because it takes that long to get to this activity now. Instead, you got the option to rerun from a failed activity. At first sight, you might be thinking that rerunning from the failed activity here would resolve our issue because we got the lookup activity that's already succeeded. So let's do that because I want to show you how to rerun from a failed activity and what happens in that scenario. So let's do that first. So as you can see, when we rerun from the failed activity it keeps the activity that succeeded previously. So in our case, the lookup succeeded so it didn't rerun the activity and it jumped straight into the for each activity. But I do expect this to fail now. That's because our lookup activity, when it read the data first time, it read the URLs as ecdc underscore dat and they are the same information it's still keeping because we are not rerunning our lookup activity. So we'll still get the same failure on our for each to copy the data. So as you can see here the copy activities have failed again even though the lookup was skipped. And that's because actually we still have the wrong URL. So we can look here and as you can see the remote name could not be resolved. So we have got an option in this case other than to rerun the full pipeline. So you can either do it here or you can come back and you can rerun the trigger here. So let's do this. It is the same as what you do inside the pipeline itself. I said trigger, but it is pipeline. So let's do that. And it's running, so let's get into the pipeline. As you can see, it's rerun the lookup and it's doing the copy activities and I would expect them to succeed. As you can see, they are succeeding. So the pipelines now succeeded. So if we go back into all pipeline runs and it shows us succeeded and it's shown as a manual trigger because we manually invoked the pipeline in order to run again. We didn't use the trigger to do it. So that's why it shows manual trigger and it succeeded. But one thing to know is that this has been triggered manually. So the trigger itself, which triggered this pipeline, will still show as failed. Which is quite annoying because we fixed the pipeline that failed but we got a failed trigger showing up here which is quite annoying. Hopefully Microsoft will fix this and propagate the internal statuses back to the trigger itself at some point. But at the moment it doesn't happen that way. But if you want to see everything as succeeded, the option you've got is to rerun the whole trigger and it triggers the pipeline and you've got everything succeeded again. So let's do that. So I'm rerunning the trigger. And it's waiting. It's going now. And the pipeline should be running. Yep, it's running at the moment. So let's see whether it succeeds. Okay, everything succeeded. So if we go back to the pipeline runs you should see everything is succeeded and the trigger should now show as succeeded as well. So a couple of things to note here is if you wanted to rerun failed pipeline from the middle of its graph, which is from a failed activity, you can do that within the pipeline and that will show us manual rerun. And also if you wanted to rerun just a pipeline without rerunning the trigger, you can do that as well. And again, that will show us a manual rerun and the trigger will still show as failed. But if you wanted to make the trigger succeeded then you would have to rerun the trigger. The scenario where you would want to do this, rather than rerunning the pipelines themselves from the failed activity, is when you have another trigger which is dependent on this one because if you don't make this a success, 
then the other dependent trigger won't run. This is only a problem with the tumbling window triggers because you can't create dependencies between even triggers or schedule triggers. So when you have a tumbling window trigger, which is dependent on another tumbling window trigger, you need to make sure that actually that tumbling window trigger succeeds so that the other one succeeds as well. I hope there'll be some changes to the data factory from Microsoft to fix this, but at the moment, this is how it works. But I hope I've given you enough information about the current behavior of the triggers and pipelines within the data factory. And that's the end of this session. I'll see you in the next one.